Six years, let's go. I appreciate it, guys. It's all thanks to you guys. I know, look at this armor, guys. Like, can it even compete with D2? Like, I mean, when you look at something like this. One eternity later. Well, when it loads, of course. But I mean, does, does it even compete? <laughs> what is your favorite D1 strike, guys? Let me know. <laughs> Whether we wanted it or not, we've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. So oh let's get to gosh. taking out their command one by one. Hey, look at how. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Touch of Malice. How I how I've missed this one. Huh? What game is this? Weedo, I believe that this is. Uh, this was the new Luigi's Mansion game that came out for Switch. I wonder if Touch of Malice is going to be in the quest in, ex in D2. I know some people are thinking about it. Like, based on kind of some of the stuff we've seen lately. An exotic dropped? For me? Really? Wait, oh, sorry, really did? Up near the corner? Okay. I think it's a green. Oh, over here. Guys, this is a. Guys. Did you guys really just make me go on a scavenger hunt for a green? You didn't. Quack. Moving on. Thank you guys for the green. I needed that. Why can greens drop, by the way? Can we talk about that, by the way? Somebody explain that to me. How are we getting greens? How does that even operate? All right, where is Valis, guys? I'm going to do something that we haven't done in a very long time. You ready? You ready for this? This is something that we haven't experienced in a very, very long time. Three, two, one. What a concept. Goodbye, Valis. We'll miss you. Thank you for the blues and the greens. Guys, today's video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends and a big thank you to them. It's honestly insane that they're going on their third anniversary of being one of the top RPG games while being a leading PC and mobile game and bringing new content almost all the time. And you can download that content with my description link or with my QR code. And if you're a new user, you'll get a free in-game package. Speaking of new content, Raid has something called the Doom Tower, which is tough in-game content, essentially a gigantic tower prison, where if you don't come in there coordinated with your champions, you're going to get absolutely obliterated. Guys, this is a really good time to get into Raid, so use that link in the description, use the QR code, and you'll get Virgus 200k Silver, a 1-day XP booster, and an Ancient Shard that'll all be waiting in your inbox, and I'll be sure to shout out some of you guys that joined in my next YouTube video, and with that, thank you Raid for sponsoring this video. The Sunless Cell. You guys ready? Alright, here we go. All right, the dark blades take a look at this. The there it is, my favorite person. helmet. I, am I miss strike loot so much! There's no way that just happened. Ooh. Okay, sure. <laughs> I did it again. I think I accidentally tried to mantle. Flashback. D1 platforming separates the children from adults. <laughs> End of flashback. Man, the music, the looks, everything, guys. Holy, it looks so good. Like, who used to use Icebreaker at the top of the winner's run strength? And you'd sit at the top of that cliff and Icebreak everything from up top. Or Icebreak Oracles from up top. Fogoth. Uh, even Opmigal, you sit in that little corner. All of those things. You guys remember, I know you do. And so, Shriekers used to have these things right here. That if these things hit you back in the day, they hurt a lot. And if you ran a mile, you still got caught. Another exotic, guys, right? I wonder what this exotic will be. So this room gives me PTSD. I remember all the thrall running up this bridge after. Remember this, guys? Especially when it was a nightfall and like everything, too. All right. It is time to see our old friend, guys. Here we go. I mean, we think it was scary running away from Light Blade in D2. Running away from the light, or from the Dark Blade in the dark was um, by far one of the most stress-inducing things in time. So, like, three of coins pop. Let's see what happens. Maybe? Maybe? No. <laughs> I figured it. Do the Bond Brothers next? I'll do the Bond Brothers next. I can do that. Guys, who remembers Hunger Frota, Baby Gallahorn? The only other way to get into a LFG at one point in time. I miss this gun so much. Like, exotic primaries just used to hit so different back in the day. Like, the best way to put this gun, guys, is... Oh, 
Hello. Oh. 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 I didn't know I was gonna die. I knew I was gonna hurt. I didn't know I was gonna die. Can we not? There we go. All right, y'all. Necrochasm it is. All right. You guys chose it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh man, it feels so good to shoot. Oh man, I missed that explosion. I missed Dinklebutt. I missed We've Awoken the Hive. We've Woken the Hive! That ran the strike so many times, same. It makes me miss like farming for, remember the Taken Shotgun? All right, bring on this is the Arton Priest. Maybe exotic from the three of coins, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Guys, the three of coins days. Who remembers? Nope. Of course. My postmaster fool, some things never change, guys, no matter what the game is. Man, I miss these days though, guys. I miss these days so much. The Age of Triumph stuff like puts like it'll honestly puts a tear in my eye. I remember this dance. I miss this dance. Sitting around in the end patrol doing this dance. <laughs> this was iconic back then. Man, I miss this weapon so much, guys. Seriously. The OG Vexmorphic class. I remember when this thing finally dropped for me. Honestly? Oh, what? No. Oh. I forgot about those stasis turrets. The splicer shanks. Oh my, the nostalgia hitting. I miss the splicers, guys. Imagine dealing with the ogre and the GM dealing with the ogre and then having the shanks rain from the heavens. Yeah, no, thank you. Ouch. Oh, I am. I'm so I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> that was close. I should have died like 40 times. So we're gonna go see Tanix one more time. I was trying to shoot this like it was Kava stuff, I realized I had the Dark Blade spite on. I just also tried to pop a shield. And obviously I was unsuccessful doing that. Yeah, surviving was different in D1. I mean, you couldn't play that hide behind a barricade game. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh my. Alright, let there be Tanix. Clearly, but they... That used to be pain if you were under leveled and Tanix spawned there for people who wouldn't know he spawned there. There goes good old Tanix. They made pretty quick work. Tanix is momentarily dead? Yeah, Tanix is like, yeah, I'll be back. I'll see you fools in D2.